Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video we are tackling the differences between different cognitive functions. Yeah, what I've said when it comes to cognitive functions is a cognitive function can become an intelligence, can become a skill, can become an asset. And certain cognitive functions are more associated with certain abilities. So an INFJ will have a set of native intelligences, intelligences that they can develop and become really good at. But then they also have cognitive functions outside of that that they can also sharpen and improve. So this is not about what you value. It's not about what you find positive. It's not about who you are at flow, but it's what the, you're good at. And you can be good at something without using it actively or without being or enjoying the use of this function. Now, often I associate being an introverted and feeling type with being a counselor type, being a person that is good at reading another person's intentions and meanings and their hidden purpose, seeing people's hidden purpose, seeing why people do what they do, saying and sharing and saying, I think that person was feeling bad or I think that person was struggling with something or I think that person was going through a difficulty. That's classical IXFX. An IXTX type is a little different. An IXTX type is interested in how something works. How was that person able to come to that decision? How was that person able to do this? Why or what made that person succeed in this task? And IXTX is listening critically. I see IXTX types perk out their shin muscles and to go like, hmm, I don't know, is that really true? Can I really trust that? Yeah, they are reading logically, they're operating on and seeing if reality works according to the laws of the inner world. The EXTX type is a little different, of course. All of these types are about evaluation. All of them are about what's valuable, what's right and wrong, why people do what they do. It's all about analysis. It's all about evaluation. But EXTX, it's not so much about how things work, but it's about what works, what gave the right results. What did I do when I got the highest score? What was it that gave me the best result? What actions and what steps were the most successful. An EXTX type is good at trial and error, noticing, pushing buttons, testing out and seeing, okay, that worked and that didn't work. The EXTX type is only to a secondary level interested in how it worked. But first of foremost, they're interested in what actually works. And that's often why I call it pragmatic or why I call it practical. I'm not saying it's necessarily practical. It can be dealing with highly abstract topics and situations and decision-making scenarios. But in the end, EXTX types have the ability to transform seemingly complicated issues and logic and laws to practical decisions and to action in some shape or form. Yeah, often I find that EXTX types tend to be a little cocky or a little arrogant, they often have this strong face, they are often intimidating, they're often tough, they're often people that act cool and often that coolness comes from having this state of mind. Yeah, if you have this state of mind of knowing what works, knowing what you can do and what you can't do, having that sense of grasp with your skill and your ability, then of course you're going to feel confident, of course you're more likely to feel confident because you've seen your skill, you've seen how good you are, you've seen what you're good at, you know what your strengths are. And this leaves one final question. What about extroverted and feeling types? Well, extroverted and feeling types are the best at reading character. An EXFX type knows and understands people. They understand how people work, they understand what people do, they understand the character on portrayal and expression of other people. They know who's handsome, who's good looking, who's bad, who's nice, who's rude. They have opinions on what people do. They have opinions about if people are good or not. They have thoughts on who is showing character, who is brave, who is showing cowardice, who is being a bad person. An EXFX type is constantly filled with opinions about their external reality. They're evaluating their environment on social and qualitative aspects. That is aspects of questions such as did that person, did I like that person or not? Is that person a good person or not? Can I trust that person or not? Yeah, EXFX types are all about finding out and reading and studying other people in more 
direct terms, where an IXFX type is about why another person does what they do. An EXFX type is about what you actually do. Yeah, sure, you intended to do that, or you wanted to do that, or you meant to do that, but this is what you actually did. This is how you actually behaved. This is how you actually chose to deal with the situation. So an EXFX type has a strong awareness of character and good conduct. And this includes like an awareness of what kind of a person you want to be, how you want to act in various situations, what kind of character you want to show, what kind of a person you want to be in your environment, in your culture, in your social group. Often I see people portray extroverted feeling types as simply sponges that absorb and act as everyone else, as everyone else wants. No. An XFX type is a promoter. They have opinions on their own on what the right way to be is. They will be comfortable discussing and sharing information on this. They will be discussing how they think people should behave. They should be they will be issuing and expressing what they think is the good way to act and to live. What is of good character, what is right, what is wrong. So, okay, imagine you wanted to learn about these things and imagine you wanted an environment to practice and to learn to tell the difference between these cognitive functions. Well, I was actually working on that just earlier. I'm working on courses on Easy Generator and I think it's really fun. It's really stimulating. Like, uh, it asks you questions such as this function is often used to memorize patterns and information. And here the answer is introverted intuition. Yeah, often people associate memory with introverted sensing, but memory in neuroscience is really broad. There is the procedural memory, that's there's episodic memory, and there is rote memory, and there's patterns memory. Like there's the ability to memorize categories and data, there's the ability to memorize patterns and information, and there's the ability to remember stories and anecdotes and personal experiences. There's the ability to memorize instructions and how to solve problems. And yeah, introverted intuitives are going to do better at this question. If you get a wrong answer on one of these questions, it's a pretty intuitive test. Now, now this question is, this function is good for guarding the intention or reason behind an action. And like I said in this video, that's introverted feeling, but hey, let's say intro it's introverted thinking. Okay, that's incorrect. Well, I can try again. Now, if you don't want to try again, you'll get a score assessing how good you did at the test. So feel free to pursue a forward with the wrong answer or to try along until you get the right answer. And as you go, like learn as much as you want and uh, have as much fun as possible. Uh, there are questions on introverted and extroverted functions and judging and perceiving functions. And then there's a free for all. And I'll be adding more layers and levels. And I also want to start uh, developing tests that uh, help you become better at typing other people and telling the difference between introverts and extroverts. For example, what kind of a person enjoys theory without needing to test out their ideas in practice? Well, you might have guessed it, it's an introverted and intuitive type. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong? Okay, well, this test apparently needs to be developed and improved. Yeah, this is the first I put out and some of the test uh, questions might have incorrect answers. So let me know if there are any typos or issues with the test and let me know what kind of questions, and what kind of courses you would like me to take forward because I would love to help out if there's anything I can do to make people understand more about personality psychology. I would like to be more active in uh, educating and helping the community out in any way I can. So what would you like to learn? That's my question for today. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.